Welcome back to the coolest show in town. Spring has sprung, and if you're anything like me, organization and spring cleaning is on your mind. And our next guest, Closet Factory, have everything to do with that, but they are so much more than just organization and closets. Please join me in welcoming the owner, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Ashley, how are you? I'm great, thank you so much for joining us today. Fantastic to be here, beautiful day. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yes. Now you all are celebrating 20 years. That's a big accomplishment. So first of all, congratulations. It's a huge accomplishment. I never thought when I bought this business in 1983 that I would still be here 20 years later. I mean, it's been a fantastic ride. Um, it's been an incredible journey. We've, we've worked um, in the community. We survived the recession. Yep. We survived COVID. Um, and you know, now we're, we're glad to be here today and be able to talk about what we do. And we love what you do. And we talked about this a little bit, especially females love what you do because we appreciate organization maybe just a little bit more than our male counterparts, right? <laughs> yeah, guys don't really appreciate it as much as, as, um, as women do. And I, I was telling you a few minutes ago that I just did my closet three years ago. And until I did that, I really didn't realize how much organization helps your day. Yeah. When you're organized, you feel better about your day, you feel you better, do. it's a great start. So that kind of leads me into my next question. What kind of benefits have you seen the families in Hampton Roads get from your organization and from your business? Well, I had a friend of mine one time told me that I saved his marriage, um, which was which That's was really huge. funny. Yeah, now he was being funny, but his wife was, she was really you know fed up with the disorder and dysfunction in the house. So when we did his closet, he said, dude, you saved my marriage. And he was joking, yeah. but it was a huge benefit and she loved everything that we did. So, you know, that's one thing we bring to the table, organization, which everybody needs organization in their life. Yeah, and I was telling you this before we got started too, when, when you're unorganized and things are out of place in the home, it kind of trickles down to every part of your life where like for me, if I'm leaving the house to come here for the day to work and everything's out of place, I'm more stressed leaving because I know I'm coming home to a big mess. But having the organization that you all provide actually is stress relief. Definitely, I mean, there have been studies that, that have said that when people are more organized, they have less stress. That's yeah. documented. I mean, that's a true, that's true psychology. So it does help in our daily lives. Yeah. And, you know, with COVID, um, you know, we were known for closets. I mean, we've always been known for closets, but when COVID hit, you know, we did more home offices, workspaces. Um, kids were at, at home. They needed study spaces. They needed flex spaces. Yeah. Um, you know, people are still working from home, and we do a lot of home offices, Murphy beds, you know, much more than just closets. Yes, you are more than just closets. And you have been around in the community for 20 years what makes you a pillar of the community? Because I know you do a lot of work within the community as well. We do. We sponsor St. Jude's. Um, we always try to pitch in and help with St. Jude's. Um, we've also done Homerama. We've done Homerama for 20 years. I've built four houses in Homerama with Sam Cohen of Joey Corp. We've won awards there. People see our work. I mean, we try to give back to the community. We try to be involved and, and help people in their daily lives. You know, it's great to be able to give back to the community at the end of the day. And St. Jude's is such a great organization to partner with, too. I've done a little bit of work with Saint, the St. Jude's Dream Home. Yes. And it's always amazing to see the stories of those children. Yes, it is. And I've also given, um, you know, we work with the animal shelters. I'm a big animal guy. I love that. You know, so I give to the shelters and try to help them out. And, you know, I'm a lifelong resident of, I was, grew up in Chesapeake. I live in Sandbridge now, but I've been here my whole life. So to be able to work in this community, to give back to the community, to be a part of the community, it's special. So you just said you grew up in Chesapeake. What part? Deep Creek. Me too. Well, I didn't grow up there, but I live there now. How cool is that? Right? Yeah. yeah. So then you went to ODU. Correct. What is your favorite part of Hampton Roads being a native? Oh my gosh, there's so much. I mean, you couldn't pick a better place to grow up than Deep Creek. It's a special yes. place. I loved it. Um, and, you know, I've been in Sandbridge for the last 37 years. And that's a special place because I love the ocean. I love the beach. I love the paddleboard. I love the community. So, you know, 
Hampton Roads has something to offer everybody. Absolutely. And you're only three, four hours away from the mountains. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jeff. It has been a pleasure. It has been a great pleasure. Yes. Nice to meet you, and thanks for having me. Thank you. And you guys, make sure you check out all of their projects at Operation Reorganization.